This is one way to add a digital signature uh, to your documents. So if you have a Mac, then you have this app, Preview, and you can go to Tools, Annotate, Signature, Manage Signatures, and you can click on Create a Signature. You can use the trackpad to sign. It generally doesn't look super great. Um, and then it says press any key when finished. You can use the camera uh, and hello, it will walk you through. It says sign your name on white paper and hold it to be visible to the camera. Or you can use your iPhone. So there's a few ways to get your signatures up here. Uh, once, if you click on iPhone and your computer is linked to your iPhone, then on your actual iPhone, you see this screen pop up and then you can sign it with your hand. So like on my computer, or on my phone, I just signed that. So that's one of the ways. Once you have a signature on file, you can take a screenshot of it. So to get a screenshot of your signature, uh, you got to open a tab with a blank Google Doc. If you have a Mac, you can do Shift Command 4, which brings up these crosshairs, and take a screenshot. You have to know where your screenshots go. Mine go here to my desktop, which you can see now my preview is opened. And I can go to uh, Tools, Annotate, Signature, and then I can add my signature. Once you have your signature here, then it helps to take a very narrow screenshot. So again, I would say Shift-Command-4 and the crosshairs come up, and I'm going to take a very narrow screenshot of my signature. My screenshots go here to my desktop, so now I would call this J Signature. And going back to the document that I want my uh, signature in, I would type my name, Juliana DiMicelli, and the date to today is uh, 9-30-21. And my signature, now I would come up here to insert image, upload from computer, and I would go to my desktop and J signature. And then it will insert my signature here. I don't want it so big, so I'm going to make it small. And I also would like the wrap text potentially uh, because then it doesn't bump it onto two pages if I have a margin of zero. Sometimes there's some finagling that you need to do to make it work where it's not bumping around the text. Um, and you can make your signature smaller if you need to. And if it's tricky, if it's being bizarre, then ask one of the other clinicians for help who has more experience doing all of the finagling of online paperwork. So that's one of the ways that you can create and add a signature using a Mac. This is another example of how you could insert your signature. Uh, you would still do insert image upload from computer. Mine is labeled signature so I can search for it. And you can see it's too big. When I click on it, the first thing that I want to do is make it small. And then you actually can do a thing where you send it behind the text and you want to change position to fix position on page, not move with text. You can see now if I try to adjust it, I can't. So I'm going to zoom in. Sometimes you're able to click around and get it. Most of the time it's easier to just click enter several times until you expose it. And then I can bring it up to have it go exactly where I want it to. And you see, like, it's kind of like you got to figure out, you see how my cursor changes to the four arrows? You just have to kind of go around and figure out where that happens. And then it once you get it, you can flip it back to the front until you've adjusted it to where you want it to be. You got to have it as pos fixed position on page. Then you can send it back so that it kind of fits in with the box. And here I'll zoom out and I will backspace so that I can get that date back up there. 
And there's my signature.